Now, there are conditions pertaining to issuance of a bond. One of which is that you, the suspect, has to append your signature. You have to commit yourself. Now, where a suspect arrogantly refuses and demands that it is his lawyer to sign on that bond, I think that is unbecoming of a leader. The issue of bond doesn't arise because there is an order of court telling police to unconditionally release him. So if court has made a decision to unconditionally release a person, you cannot talk about giving them bond. So I, I, I really think that police should do one thing, just to obey the court order. It's really unfortunate that uh, the Honorable Francis Zake is being charged with disobedience of lawful orders, and at the same time police is disobeying orders of court. not able to speak to them, he was not able to sign. His sureties and other people signed for him. He was in a shape that he could not sign. They had tortured him before, they had continued torturing him. In an ambulance, a police officer or a military officer removing a drip from a patient, a drip administered by a medical person, and you remove it and you proceed to beat him. How do they explain that he left Kampala in an ambulance, he reached court in a pickup? How do they explain that nonsense? It, it, it is now coming to a level where we can't let the uh, police go away with it. We want to ask the Minister of Internal Affairs to come uh, to Parliament next week and tell us who is this insecurity that is, 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 is actually murdering Ugandans. Because if you see Honorable Zake, we are not very sure if he's going to survive. I do not know what police, what security personnel exactly are looking for on Honorable Zake. Let them really take him like normal human being. If only food distribution, very many members of parliament were found distributing food. Very many members of parliament were arrested and released immediately.